folks, this is Josh Taylor, and today I want to go over just a very short market forex market preview, um, an overview of where we're at in some of our trades here, and we're going to just show you two different pairs: the Euro USD and the Euro Pound. And now, if you received our trade signals yesterday by email, I talked about the Euro Pound that is forming a little bit of a, a pennant pattern, and we're going to show you that in a little bit. So, but first of all, I want to show you where we're at on the Euro USD. Okay, now. So here's what we have. Yesterday we entered a sell position right around this green mark. Okay, in fact, it was slightly above um, at 32.07, and our stop loss is somewhere up in this range. I don't have uh, somewhere up in the 3400 range. And as you can see here, we actually have two different channels that we are running in. You can see that. The market has been running in this was running in this channel, and now this channel is kind of widened. It's now the channel is kind of moving, which is more like the, the channel I like to trade. But it's it's all the way from the the mid uh, 1.3 mark on the euro US dollar, which is around 130.20, uh, all the way up to about uh, 132.75. So in, anywhere from that range. Um, but about a 275 pip range that this this uh, currency has been the USD Euro USD has been ranging for about the last month or so. Um, and so what we're doing here, we're we're actually in two different trades. I'm going to show you two different positions that we're going to be in because I'm about to send out another trade update and about a second position we're going to get in. Last we see there's two ranges. There's a small range here. And then there's a total range here, and then there's a small range here. So we're going to trade two different ranges. We're going to actually accumulate two different positions, short positions on this Euro USD. Um, and when eventually the chart price starts ranging back down, we will take another buy position down here. But for now, we went short at 132.07. Now here's the reasoning: um, price was down here below. We expect price to break down um, and, and continue in this cycle in this range. So that is one trade. But at the same time, you can see that price is still ranging in this small zone. You see here's some resistance and here's a support, All right? Support. And um, so we're going to trade two different trades. We're going to sell the euro at 132.96. Okay, so we're going to, and we're going to take that all the way down to about 132.07. So that'll be a, we'll be trading this range, smaller range. And then, as price eventually breaks back down, we will we will be our second trade, which we're currently in still, will be in effect, and we'll and we'll ride that down all the way. So um, that's one trade update, and let's look at the, the euro pound. Okay, now this is something I want to show you guys. Now you can see, guys, since um, oh, what's the date here? Well, actually, right around this range here, you can see, which is about mid December, December fourteenth, we're showing that. This price line at 184 on the euro pound has been a very strong resistance point. You can see that price was fighting here, the bears and the bulls fighting back and forth whether they could break. The bulls, which means the p people that are looking for long positions, buy opportunities, could not sustain the amount of sellers forcing the price down. So price came down, it's come, it come down. You can see that there's a range here. See this mini range? We've traded this range. You can see a deeper range here, and then you see a range here. Let me go back to my pointer. Um, how it, you see how price has kind of steadily moved up, up, up this trend line. So what you have is the lows, low, 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 low. The lows are actually climbing up higher, right? So ultimately, this trend line. We're gonna see this thing. Let's see if I can move this thing out here. We would expect this trend line to continue going like this. All right. So what happens is you have, but the 8400 has continued to hold, 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 hold. So we just now, over the last few minutes, entered a, a short position on this pair. I, I do believe it was at 8396 range. So we are short this pair. 
and we're expecting the price to break back down and we'll close up that position in a profit. But as you can see, this price is going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If it continues along the same pattern, and what I mean by a pennant pattern is if you've ever been to a baseball game, you know, people wave those little flags around the little pennants where the top is straight and then the bottom of the pennant is at an angle. And that's what you're seeing. What happens is the range was wider and wider, is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, smaller. Ultimately, it's going to have to do something around here. It's going to have to eventually break out uh, to the north or to the south. So, and then at that point, we will be trading this pair in a different range. So, I just want to give a quick explanation because we had a couple customers ask about what what a pennant pattern was. And uh, so, anyway, this is what we're trading right now. We're trading the bottom, and as soon as we get closer in here, we're, we're going to start take, accumulating our buy positions here, sell positions here. Um, as price can, if if this trend line continues to hold, however, um, we are going to be looking for more um, short opportunities if because of the um, the um, strong resistance point we have at 8400. So anyway, so that's just a quick market update video. And uh, if you have any questions, be sure to email support, and we'll be glad to take care of you. And in the meantime, we'll look at a couple of the tr other trades that we're in right now as well. We actually went short the Aussie dollar at um, uh, somewhere up in, up in this range at 70, uh, 172.22. And we were up almost 50 pips on that tr trade. In fact, we, we set a target for this trade to come all the way down to 65.50. It came to 65.54. Um, so we didn't get we didn't get closed out at our profit part target. Of course, if you manage your trade correctly and you saw that opportunity, you should have already closed that trade. But uh, I never sent out a signal for that, so we're not going to uh, include that as part of our trade uh, portfolio. Uh, we cur we went short <laughs> the uh, the USD yen right around this range, expecting it to continue in the range that was already in. And what we had was a breakout, and so now we're in like a mini consolidation. The market's trying to determine whether it's going to drop back down or if it's going to continue going up. So our stop loss is up here at the red line. Um, we did change this trade so that we change our stop loss to our open because we were expecting this thing to, to dip back down. I'm hoping this thing dips back down, takes us out of our trade, and if it's going to go back up. So the goal here is, of course, to protect your downside. Uh, we entered this trade here at um, 1.2061. Uh, so we are up currently about 20 pips on this trade. This is a slower moving currency pair, the, the Euro Swissy. Um, but it is very predictable, and you can take some nice scalps on the, on the market on this, this pair. In fact, I may change my strategy on this pair. We may just start closing out with a little 20 pip runs on a daily basis on this for a little while. Uh, let's see, anything else? Nope, I think that's, that's it. So anyway, folks, uh, that's it for today's market update, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Now, folks, if you've not already signed up for one of our free Forex webinar trainings, I highly suggest that you do that now. A lot of the information that you're finding in our videos is covered in much greater detail in our webinars. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're at as a trader, whether you're a professional trader, you've been trading for 20 or 30 years, or if you're brand new, you've never heard of Forex, the information in our webinars is going to help steer you in the right direction and show you how to be profitable as a trader, how to protect yourself from loss, and how to make Forex trading fun and profitable for you. So here's where you want to go. You want to go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash Forex, okay? So register now and sign up for our free Forex webinar at tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash Forex.